Hey everybody, the Network Berg here. Hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install EVNG, the community edition, using VMware Workstation Player. Um, EVNG is a fantastic network emulator that you can use in order to emulate a variety of different um, vendors. You could study Cisco, you could do Fortinet, you could do Arista, you could do any big networking vendor you can think of. There's even Howie uh, firewalls the the list is I won't say endless because it is and there, there is an end to it but there's a lot of stuff and it's really useful in order to get into um, the networking field and just to understand some some new concept so let's jump into the setup I'm actually going to um, first just open up VMware player uh, which I'm already running EVNG off of, but I'm going to treat this as if it's a first time setup. So let's begin the video. Before we begin the actual setup, we first need to download the ISO or the image for the EVNG uh, VM. So to get this, you can just go to eve-ng.net. This will take you to the EVE website. And from here, we can just go to the downloads. And you can get professional. This is a paid for version. It comes with a lot of nice features, um, but that's not the version that I'm using, or that's also not the version that I'm showing you to set up. So we will use EVNG community. And then we've got our options here. So you can get this um, as the OVA, uh, but that's not what I like to use. I'm just going to use the ISO and you can get one of these two MERS. So I'm just going to use the mega link here and I've already downloaded the copy so I'm just gonna jump straight into having the image all right so our download has completed we've got the ISO file here for Eve uh, that's the version that we've downloaded straight from the Eve website so now we will proceed with the setup using VMware workstation player in my video I'll be using VMware workstation player version 15 uh, but just, I'm sure if there's a newer version and there's issues I'll show you how to set it up there as well so in order to get Eve running all that we're going to do is we're going to create a new virtual machine. We're going to say, I will install the operating system later. Where we say um, what this is, we're going to use this as Linux or Linux and the version will be Ubuntu 64 bit. We go next. Here you can give the virtual machine a name. So maybe make it Eve dash ng community. I'm just going to make this number two because I've got the name already. And the location is where your drive will be saved. So I'm just going to update that to a different drive. Use it here. Let's call this Eve 2. Next. Now we can set the size for the drive. Please try and choose the best possible size from the beginning. You can add additional drives later, but the first drive you add, it's the size that it's going to be. So let's just make this something nice and beefy. So we could make it 300 gig. We can make it 500 gig, depending on how big a VM you want. Um, it's no issue if you do only have a small drive, then you can still make it 100 gig or 50 gig or whatever. It's just this just allows you for expansion. The more labs and more images you start to bring in. We're going to store this virtual disk as a single file. Proceed. Now from here we can customize our hardware. Memory. Always try and push this up as much as you can. So I've got a 16 gig here, but I'm just going to maybe make it like 12 ish or something. I'll fix that now. Yeah, that should be fine. Processors, try and select the most that you can as well. In my case, I can use eight, but th this depends completely on your system. The more you can support, the quicker your EVE will run. Um, we're gonna use this as NAT, so that's normal. And then importantly, the CD slash DVD, this is where we're gonna use the ISO and we're going to specify our EVE ISO there. And that looks good. Okay. There is something I'm missing. With the processors, make sure that you also virtualize Intel VT 
or EPT, AMD, VI, this is quite important for the virtual labs. We can finish the setup. And now we will have this EVENG Community 2 that we can run. So we're going to play the virtual machine. It will start up the virtual machine. And remember, we put that disk in the ISO. Well, that's what you're seeing now. This will be the setup. So let's just quickly make this a little bit bigger. We're going to use English in my version. We're going to install EVE VM. The bare metal, that is if there's a physical appliance for EVE, we're just going to use the VM. And now it's going to start to walk us through the setup process. So during this video, I will pause when there's long instances where we're just waiting for things to install. All right, so we're going to use English. I am going to use South Africa, because that's where I'm from, but you can use United States, or United, uh, United Kingdom, whatever works for you. And now we just wait. And it's really not too long. The, the pulse setup maybe takes uh, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how quick a system you have, how, how fast your internet is when you need to update and upgrade uh, certain features. I'm going to pause the video now until we get another prompt. All right, so we're being asked what the host name will be. We can keep this default, continue. Based on your physical location. So this, we can just say yes. All right. This we can leave blank. At this prompt, we will select install security updates automatically. Okay, so at this prompt, it says the installation is complete and we can now restart the system. So I'm just going to hit continue. All right, so the system's booting up again. We can just hit enter or it will automatically do that as well. So it's just busy starting everything. And this is more or less the actual setup on, on Linux now or Linux. It's copied all of the files across in that GUI that we saw earlier. And now it's just busy installing all of the packages uh, to get Eve up to a running state. All right, so the basic install is finished now and we are prompted to log into Eve. The default is Eve and your, well, the password is Eve and your login is root. Uh, you'll note that it does have a IP address there, 192.168.246.135. That is the IP address of your Eve VM. We're going to change this very shortly. Um, but it will still use the same prefix there but the end we might change now uh, but it's important to just note that address because that is the NAT adapter address so I'm going to log in and now we are prompted the first time like this is just think of this as the basic configuration now so I'm gonna keep this as Eve 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 the host name we can make Eve. We're not going to use a domain name. We can go down to static, hit spacebar, okay that. And now the IP address. So you needed to just note what your IP address was of your NAT adapter, but in my case it is 192.168.246.200. I'm going to make it. My subnet is a slash 24. My default gateway will be 192.168.246.2.2 is the NAT adapter, dot one is my actual machine. So we will use dot two as the default gateway. We will use dot two as the DNS server as well, the primary. And then we will use Google's DNS server as the secondary. 
we will not be using any NTP. We will be using direct connection. And now it's just busy finishing that off. The VM's busy starting up again uh, with those configuration settings that we just set. And we're back. We just need to log in again. You'll note that the IP address has changed to what we made it. So I'm just gonna use root and eve to log in. We're almost finished with the setup. We just need two more steps. The first step is to update app get update our system. And this is relatively quick depending on your internet connection, but you see these are quite small files as well. Okay, it's done. And now we are going to get upgrade. Hit enter. That's fine, yes. We will proceed and now it's just going to upgrade Eve to the latest. It says configuration issue. We can just hit enter to proceed. All right, so Eve has been updated and upgraded. So we can just reboot the system. All right, so we are done with the reboot. We're back on the Eve login screen. So we finished the setup. We can just verify that everything is working by going into our browser, typing in the IP address of the Eve server. And then we can see our login credentials here. So I will just use admin and Eve to log in and we're done. Um, this brings or this concludes the Eve setup. Um, I will cover some more tutorials how to add labs and how to import some appliances but this has at least shown you how to set up EVE using VMware Workstation Player 15. I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd please remind you to subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks so much. Bye.